Oh. oh. Hello. As you can see, I have vanquished this foul beast of the Pontiff in my own world, and I'm preparing to head towards the bottom of the high wall. So, let us make our way down to the high wall. We will find more hosts of embers in need of assistance down there. Just give me time. <coughs> you know what? No, Screw this, this voice. voice. <laughs> it's it's thick and hard to do. Well, we will be going, going back, back to my normal voice. You'll, you'll be hearing Rock speaking, speaking at certain times throughout the rest of the series. Welcome to the Undead Settlement. Settlement. And you will be hearing me for the majority of this. We're going to be going back to a more traditional style commentary for the rest of From the Fire. I'm mostly only going to have Rock speaking for cutscenes because uh, that echo change. This echo is getting obnoxious. You know what? Hey, Barry! Barry! Turn off the echo chamber! All right, there we go. We are now back at the second bonfire. This is where we're going to be starting out from this. Let's shut this real quick. There we go, now I won't get interrupted. So with that being said, let us go find our first host of embers to help throughout the rest of the world. All right, here we are, right back here, and we have host of embers, I Hate the Dance. Oh no. <laughs> There's the disconnect that comes with the... <laughs> I've noticed that, that. People lag every time somebody connects. Oh, right. Hate dancing. N. Swulo. Let us go. Now, the question is, is he co-oping through the world, or has he been invaded? I'm guessing from the sign of dead bodies that he might have been invaded. Okay, I guess he either disconnected, or he wanted to help people getting invaded? I don't know. Alright, so here we are at the Congregation. Fun fact, this Evangelist, if you um, equip Hidden Body in the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, actually is seeable. As saying prayers to the burning bodies that are located in the front. A very nice touch that I noticed with this. There we go. Where is Dance? There he is. Whoop! Whoop! Right up your booty! Ouch! Oh shit, 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 shit! Yeah, you ain't gonna cleanse nothing. Give myself a quick bit of healing there. Yeah, I broke it. Woo! Don't have to worry about that. As long as I keep this chime out, my health will be nicely regenerating. There's a dead body. Where is this guy going? The goal of this is that I need to stay with the host, so even though I normally, when I get summoned, I get I run off and I go and kill other things for other people, we won't be doing that today. Is he trying to free aim? God, I love camera locks. Except I don't. Hmm. Oh, great. He's going over here. Those who don't know, this is the way over to the Mound Makers, and not exactly my preferred location. I was wondering if that would be that. No! Well, I wonder if he just died. Did he die? No, he didn't. Oh, God. We actually might be getting invaded. When, you, when you're summoned and you note that things start sliding around, that's usually when the host gets invaded. I'm not dead. Ooh, now he's dead. I wonder what this host of embers is doing, though. We aren't really going much of anywhere. Where did he go? Oh, he's right here. I wonder if he knows that there's literally nothing over here. Like, he can't go to the Mound Maker's Covenant. Because, for those that don't know, this is where the Mound Maker's Covenant is located. You have to talk to the guy in the cage to talk about needing this guy's cage, 
and you can't exactly do that. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Dummy. Idiots. Why would you summon phantoms to go to the Mound Maker's Coven? And no, I don't really hate anybody in this game. It's just, that was a really short trip. You really can just run past over there. You know, actually, here, watch this. Put away my weapon. Now watch. And boom, you're at the Mound Makers. I didn't fight a single thing here. Well, it appears that I have ended up in the bottom of this cliff. A new pile of skulls. Hello. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, sane folk. You assume far too much to think I am sane. For hollow. Posing as otherwise? I am not hollow. I just feel sick of the cycles of this world, so fine, I'll play your way. Yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad, soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. I see. I see. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> I seek embers. I, Ember. I do I not seek it in madness. Let, Let me leave, leave this place. place. Farewell, you strange man. All right, we are back here at the congregation of enemies with a new host of embers, hopefully who is not going to be going to the mound makers. Well, I make everybody dizzy. So let's get to work on this big fat mama. Don't hit me. I'ma stab your booty. <laughs> that didn't work. You know, I really don't need all that many, um, Estus flasks if I have Medivh. I really don't. Looks like this guy's going to be going to the dilapidated bridge bonfire over here. This is one way to go for if those who don't know. I mean, I, that's the saying I have to get rid of. God feels good to come again. But you can kill these two guys that normally drop down right here if you're going through the passageway below. God, it's not just... There we go. Some more healing going there. Oh, hi. That's... What? 
<laughs> God, whoever did the voice acting for the Evangelists actually did a pretty good job. the one. Where are you going? Probably gonna go pick up the item up there that's located past the um, Evangelist. Up oh, there's Holy Knight Hodrick. What if, I, if I try to parry him, I bet you I'm gonna die. I'm actually notoriously bad at Cestus parrying. What? It's Holy Knight Bouncy, apparently. It's Stunlock, bitch. Did not know that attack was a knockdown. Really, it is. Yeah, if I had Ash and Estus, I could just heal myself. It must be a pill that the post of members reach a new bonfire within his world. Now we just need to find the boss of this place. What I understand is it's a festering, rotted monstrosity of the plant worshipped by these crude villagers. Alright. Sometimes I will do things like that to provide a little bit of commentary for it. Basically, we'll be switching between the roleplay and my normal commentary for helping keep things slightly interesting. In the meantime, though, we're going to jump forward because we're running back over everything we've already done. <laughs> he just went right through the door. That was an interesting glitch. Alright, so here we are back at the next portion. I will admit that this is actually a really fun build to be playing on, the one I've got going right here. Um, as you probably see through the inventory, this one was pretty much built from NG+. What are you doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. You're gonna let stuff explode all over that. That, that is my fault. He'll be done at some point. Skwadushke, you're dead. I wonder if he knows how to reach the Cliff Underside bonfire here. Apparently he does not. Nope, he does not know how to reach the Cliff Underside bonfire. Those don't know, right over here, actually I'll show this real quick. To reach the cliff underside bonfire from this side, you just run diagonally like that. And that's not how you do it. <laughs> oh, first utter failure! Oh, that was great. And the best part was my chair had to sink the entire time I did that. Woo! We suck! Okay, just for a quick moment because I wanted to showcase this. That The way I just died is one way to do it. That is the risk of trying to do that diagonal drop right there. This is the far safer one to do, is the one right here. As you can see, I took a tiny bit of fall damage, but not really that much. I've got a boogly thing behind me. But you run right under here and bam, you're at the uh, cliffside underside bonfire. Now you, go away. See you in another world. Huh, huh, finally, 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 back, back in another, another world. world. It's, 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 it's taking quite, quite some time this time to get through. through. Some very, some very interesting, interesting individuals. individuals. Greetings. My legs are not things to do. But we will vanquish whatever we need on your quest forward. And by your quest, my quest. For some reason, people think that, um, sometimes, if this guy had black crystals, it'll be very obvious, but people sometimes put their summon signs in interesting locations, trying to decrease the chances of being summoned by somebody other than their friend. But I got news for you. That doesn't work. 
It might have been how you did it in Dark Souls 1, but in Dark Souls 2, they introduced the God Ring. In Dark Souls 3, you have a password system. You literally have no reason for not using it. She just fell on top of us. The gigantic fat thing. Whale, blubber, I don't know, pick a, pick a verb or anything. Alright, so looks like this guy already opened the door to the Cursed Rotted Great Wood, so here we go. I'm going to let Lapper take over at this point. Here we, here go. we go. We shall vanquish this foul of the Cursed Rotted Great Wood. Fauna, Laura. Fauna, Laura. Fauna, Laura. Fauna, Laura. Fauna, Laura. Brain is brainwashing as this person's tree. Ouch. Time to take out this person's thing. This thing has a mark of a lane. Cursed tree is no more, and this host shall find his way onto the next area of my kingdom. Fare thee well, good host. May the sun shine on your journey. So now, having fulfilled the main goal of this, which is helping somebody else through their world, we will now go to either my Cursed Rod in Greatwood, or we're going to end the video off at Crucifixion Woods. See you at either. Alternatively, we can be invaded. Have I killed this thing already? Is there a giant hole here? No, there is not a giant hole. Well then, I got sick of fighting him. <laughs> I'm not going to waste time fighting through somebody's Estus flasks. There we go. And in all honesty, this is why invading is really bad in this game. Because hosts can just do that if they don't want to deal with your shit. And to be honest, I didn't want to deal with his shit. Don't fall on me! Don't fall! Oh, God, he is rarely used. Most of this tree's attacks involve basically flying around at you. Like, he'll roll at you, he'll fall at you, he'll fucking shit on the ground. He'll do whatever. Oh, this is his butt slam. Yep. Butt slam. 
and that's what really bugs me about over half of this guy's attacks. Is they pretty much just involve him spinning around. But honestly, this guy's not a horrid boss. He's just kind of irritating in some fashions. See, the other hand has it. Yeah. There we go. Slap your balls. For this. Oh, you got flattened. No. Now, what I'm doing here is getting two sets of regeneration going so that way I can fight without too much you're going to spend. Too much worry about getting hit. Yeah, this chanting is obnoxious. As you can see, the healing effect has kept me very much um, topped off throughout this whole mess. Go, switch to two hand, and Skabushki. There you go. That's the curse rod of Great Wood. He was. And thus <laughs> the foul spirit, spirit tree has been vanquished within my own realm. We may finally we press, press on towards, towards the next, next one. one. So, so, with that, that said. said oh. oh, 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 oh. Well, it appears well, that yon crazy, crazy hollow, hollow man will not be doing, doing any more killings killing these days. days. We, we are the twin princes, princes, and we will and we rid, rid this land, land of the curse of the lords and the cycle of one, one moment at a time. All right, with that having been done, Prince Lothric has made his way through the undead settlement, killed the curse rod of Greatwood, helped multiple other hosts and encountered some weird things. That being said, the next episode will be taking place here in Crucifixion Woods. If you are liking the way the direction of the series, would like to hear more of Lothric's roleplay versus my commentary, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please remember to leave a like. It lets me know that you guys would like to see this series more. I'm going to be trying to upload some other things before the next installment of this series, so be sure to leave a like if you want to see this done with more succession than other series. With that being said, I've been the Void Talon here in the Abyss, and I will see you in the Abyss next time. Stay sharp, my friends. All right, so just to wrap this up real quick, I want to show the reason why it took me so long to get my videos back up is I suffered computer failure. I almost lost everything I had worked on there. It took me multiple computer part replacements and other things to get it fixed up, but now everything's back in order, and I will be editing again, and hopefully we get back to one video a week at minimum. Thanks all for watching. I hope you're enjoying From Another Fire. I've been the Void Talon. Well, it seems. Fuck my face, though.